Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community Channel. I'm Trigger Militia, and today I will be showing you how to properly pack your Xbox One for safe travel, whether you're going to be flying or driving. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it with your regular luggage. No special gear or expensive cases are going to be necessary for this method. Before we get into the video, I want to mention all of the videos on my channel are made with Xbox players in mind. That doesn't mean that if you're a PlayStation or PC player, you can't learn from my videos, but all of the button callouts, the strategies, and the reviews I do are specific to the Xbox One platform. If you're an Xbox owner and you find this video helpful and you want more Xbox specific guides, strategies, and tech reviews, please consider subscribing. I only play on an Xbox One, so that's the entire focus of my channel. All right, let's go. For my day job, I travel a lot, and that includes four to six flights a year and around six to 10 road trips, and I always bring my Xbox with me for entertainment. I've never had a problem damaging any of my Xbox gear using this method, so I know that it's proven to work. I recommend packing your Xbox differently depending on how you're traveling. Your baggage does go through a lot less trauma in the back of your car than when you bring it through the airport. I'll show you how to pack for each scenario. Let's talk about traveling on an airplane first. And my very first tip is never under any circumstances put your Xbox in your checked bag. The problem with putting your Xbox in your checked bag is that other people are handling that bag and most of the time they are under a lot of pressure to get the plane loaded quickly. So they're tossing the bags around and slamming them down or even just stacking them on top of other bags. So there's a lot of potential for you to get your Xbox damaged when you do this. No matter how well you pack your Xbox inside your checked bag, there's a good chance it gets damaged in transit. Pack your Xbox in your carry-on. The absolute best place is in a backpack. I know it may not seem like the backpack has very much padding, but a backpack is the easiest to control. It stays attached to you when you're standing, it gets put in the seat next to you when you're waiting to board the plane, and can be stowed at your feet when you're flying, which means it never leaves your control. You always have the ability to defend potential threats to your console. Now your small luggage is a close second, and the reason it's not the best place is because it's kind of a pain in the butt to remove the Xbox when you go through security. According to TSA rules, your Xbox is considered a computer and must be put in its own security bin to go through the x-ray machines. This is another reason why packing it in a backpack is best. It's very easy to remove and then put back in once you pass through security. By the way, putting your Xbox through the x-ray machine will not damage your console. All right, let me show you how simple it is to pack your Xbox for a flight using a backpack. You will need a large towel, preferably a beach towel because they're huge and usually super fluffy and soft, but any regular sized towel will get the job done. I fold the towel in half long ways and then in half again the same way. Lay the towel down, put your Xbox in the center, and then fold the towel around your Xbox. I'm using an Xbox One X, which is the same size as the Xbox One S. You should have a little bit of towel sticking out on the top and the bottom of the Xbox, which will be used as cushion. Then drop your towel wrapped Xbox into the main pocket of your backpack. Now obviously, each backpack is a little bit different, so I'll leave it up to you where you can fit all of your accessories and games. But I want to mention that you should separate your controller from the rest of your accessories and games as well as your console because the joysticks on an Xbox One controller are pretty fragile. They tend to start drifting and sticking if they're damaged at all. So you'll want to keep them in a separate place where they can be well protected. I recommend using your socks and shirts as a cushion for your controllers. I happen to have a case for my headset but you can safely pack your headset in with your console because your console is protected with the towel and your headset will be too. I recommend disconnecting the mic so it doesn't get broken. If you can't disconnect it, just fold it as flat as you can against the headset before sticking it in the bag. Traveling by car is largely the same, but slightly different because you may have other luggage that needs to be stacked on or with the bag that contains the Xbox. 
And if you're traveling with your family, you will likely have a bunch of different luggage being piled in the back of the car. So I recommend using a hard shell suitcase, although a soft shell suitcase will also do the trick. My suitcase has a separate divided zippered side and I can get all of the Xbox stuff inside that area. It's okay if you don't have this type of bag because you can surround your console and accessories with the clothing that you have for padding. This suitcase is 19 by 15 by 10 and it works out perfectly for my setup. Another thing to note, because I travel a lot, I actually prefer digital games. I don't want to have to travel with a bunch of physical games, so I purchase everything digitally. All I have to do is remember my hard drive and I'm good to go. Go ahead and wrap the Xbox in the towel the same way I showed you earlier, and put it in one side of your bag. Then use the space around it for your accessories and cables. My setup fits pretty snug inside this size suitcase, which is a good thing. You don't want your Xbox moving around a lot in your bag, but you also don't want it so tight that bumps and cracks are going to do harm to it when you're rolling your bag. I've traveled like this so many times and have never had an issue. I'm confident that you can use this method and not break your Xbox, but it does come down ultimately to how careful you are with your bags. If you are slamming your backpack into things at the airport and dropping it down with zero care, it's likely that you're going to break your Xbox. Hopefully this video has taught you something because that's always my goal, but I'm always open to learning new things as well. Please, if you have your own packing tip for taking your gaming on the road, leave it in the comments down below. Also, I want to end this video with a question. Are you like me? Do you bring your Xbox with you when you travel? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Trigger out.